ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be open unto you. Ask and it shall be given you. for watching this video we hope you were inspired blessed by it if you were would you help us out by sharing it with a friend or with a loved one and in that way we can together share more hope with others that are needing it we all are in need of hope and and you can be that messenger of hope sharing this with others we would also love to hear your comments if this video if if this channel has been a blessing to you uh, go ahead and write to us below or if you have a prayer request We'd love to hear your comments each time we look forward and we read them and they encourage us You know, we also go sometimes through moments of, of discouragement and to know that God somehow is using these videos to reach your lives It, it just gives us that extra push to continue uh, Creating more content and actually I'm gonna read a few testimonies right now to you And if you write to us, we may read your testimony in a future video and uh, somebody writes to us here and says, Lucy Ludong, in one of our videos, she says, Praise the Lord, for He is good. This types of music is so comforting to my soul. So thank you, Lucy, for writing to us. Um, then we have Kevin Nisa writing to us, and he says, for one of our other songs, Whoa, I know all this song. It's, it's refreshing the soul. And it brings smile to my lips. Maybe this is called joy. And this is what we feel when we're really blessed. So happy to hear. Music has power. You know, David played for Saul and it soothed his soul. And that's what we're 
uh, wanting to do through this channel. Then somebody else, Norcorn Eto, writes to us and he says, I bought your CD with a song on it uh, and I'm encouraged every time I listen to it. God bless you in your ministry. I'm learning to play violin and, and hope that I can one day play beautiful hymns to uplift too. Continue playing, uh, Nocorn Eto. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Continue playing, takes practice and pouring your heart into it and God blesses and multiplies the talents. Then we have um, Haven on Earth Ministries, uh, another YouTube channel writing to us saying, I can't believe my favorite psalm turned into a song with face of tears. Bless you, brethren, for this beautiful gift. This psalm has lifted me out of the most trying times of my life. Beautiful song, talking about Psalm 61, 1 through 4, Hear My Cry. Then somebody else writes, A Joyful Sound, the name of her channel. I needed this. Thank you. A friend of mine, her grandma just died Friday night. I will get this video to her. Just got a text about it as I'm watching this. Perfect timing. Uh, so happy that, that this can be encouraging people. And we've heard from several of you that are having losses in your family, uh, some to illness. Uh, and and we, we're praying for you. And we pray that these promises can also encourage you. Uh, Ruth writes to us, I believe, from India. Minister to me personally. Just needed this at this time. Thank you so much. Praise God for your ministry. And we're so grateful to, to receive your comments and, and so encouraged by them. And, and you are in our prayers. And that's what this song talks about. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you will find. Uh, knock and it shall be opened unto you. And whatsoever we ask in the name of Jesus, it says he will answer. And I remember growing up and, and I, I got this twisted image of God, maybe, because of people that I looked up to. I looked up to important, busy people in the church, uh, people that I admired, but that seemed too busy for a little boy like me. And that I reflected it in God, thinking, well, God, He has a whole universe to take care of. How then will He take time or have time for, uh, for my prayer, for what I have to say? But this verse has put a perspective of a God that is actually leaning from his throne. And even though he's, yes, the governor, the ruler of the universe, he is close, the Bible says, to the brokenhearted. So he's interested the most to hear from you. And when you cry to him, it says that before you ask, he will already answer. And while we're still speaking, he will hear. If you have never experienced prayer, uh, you don't believe in God, you don't believe He exists, or because, like me, of a, a wrong image of a vindicative God, of uh, illustration of God through your family, religious extremists, you've come to despise the thought of a God existing. Uh, he promised that He is loving, that He has chosen you, He has loved you with an eternal love, and He wants to have a relationship with you. He wants to communicate with you. Uh, but He won't force Himself on you. He invites you to communicate, to draw close to Him. And when you do that, when you take the step, He's already taken the first step. He's emptied heaven for you. He's given His life for you. Come and die uh, and taken your diseases, your pain. But He's waiting now for you to cry to Him. And prayer is, somebody said in a beautiful book, Steps to Christ, prayer is the opening of the heart as to a friend. And prayer is the breath of the soul. I don't know about you, but I can't even hold my breath a minute. Uh, and that's the illustration that we actually cannot live very long without connecting to the source of life. There's many alive people, biologically alive, uh, but they are dead in, in their faces, you see sadness, depression. They're not connected to a source of joy, of peace, of, of happiness. God is that source and He invites you to make prayer the opening of your heart. You don't need a set formula. You don't need a memorized prayer. This is talking with your friend. Yes, He's your creator, but He wants to be your friend. You can just open your heart and talk to Him. And what's this breath that you're like, oh man, I breathe all day long. How can I pray all day long? 
And how does the Bible say pray without ceasing? Well, if you're like most of us, actually every human has this internal dialogue. We're processing thoughts, we're talking. God invites you to include him in that conversation. When, when a thought comes, I'm not good enough. And rather than, than ruminating on that yourself, invite God into that conversation and say, God, I'm having this thought saying that I'm not good enough. What do you think about it? What's your perspective? He'll remind you. You can open his word and he'll remind you, I have loved you with an eternal love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. You are mine. I have written you in the palms of my hand. And I challenge you to, to make prayer a part of your life and see what happens. Open your heart to God in the morning as you open the day. And now when you close the day and throughout the day, as you are facing with troubles, open your heart to Him. If you would like to sing this song, if you would like to replay this song or, or play this song, you can go down below to our links. You'll have their link to the sheet music playback, uh, to the song itself, or to our website where you can find other resources of inspiration in music. And uh, I want to invite you also, if you want to listen to this music, in other platforms, you can go to Amazon Music, Apple Music, uh, Spotify, and look for us, give glory to Him, and you will find our music there. In a special way, I want to thank our patrons, our, our supporters that are making these videos a reality. They have many costs involved, a lot of hours of production from the melody you know we're composing original songs so we're not just doing covers for many of our songs or for the majority so it takes a lot of steps a lot of people that we um that we are sharing that we're paying to help us contribute with piano with cello with orchestration with audio mixing editing and thanks to your faithful contribution we're being able to make these videos they don't create profit or much profit at all but we don't do them for profit, we do them because we believe that there's enough negativity in the world, things that demoralize, and we want to give something that uplifts. And prayer and these promises from God's Word can lift us over whatever health condition you're going, family brokenness, whatever negativity can lift the soul above and bring inner peace when there is external chaos. So. I pray you continue listening, sharing these promises, being encouraged by these promises, and that you uh, continue experiencing prayer. And until next time, until we see you in our next video, continue asking Him, seeking Him, knocking, and your Creator will lean from His throne, hear your prayer, and answer as He has promised. May God bless you. We'll see you on our next video.